What's good, my lovelies? Lovely soul empress here coming to do the air signs for April. My goodness. I cannot believe that we're done with a quarter of the year already. So we're going to take a look at what's coming towards my air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius for the month of April. You have here overflow, overwhelm, and plenty. I feel like there's a lot of things coming at you and it can be overwhelming, but it feels positive. I could have swore something else flipped. Okay, I guess not. Spirit, can you show me? You have dust devil moving out of stagnation. Okay, so it feels like, you know, you might have been stuck before. You have 43, which is a 7. Okay, then you have dust devil here, which is 15, which is a 6. Okay, so it feels like um, something is stirred up, but it's starting now to take momentum in a positive direction. You have gathering around the power of community. This also is having to do with your connections. Okay, that's 26 reduces to an 8. So it's like 7, 6, 8. Okay? So there could have been a, a moment where you felt like maybe you took a step back, but you're about to take a leap forward. Spirit, can you show me? And you have here eye of the needle, intentionality. Okay, it's like something about your preciseness, your timing, all right? It hits right on time, right on time. Okay, uh, also getting feast of plenty, choices and their consequences, right? So it feels like a decision that you made with, went through the eye of the needle. It hit a perfect target, perfect timing, okay? So um, we're going to take a look. What's at the bottom of the desk? Sky bridge, possibility for union, okay? I also think that this brings something else closer, okay? Could be a relationship, family, friend, or lover. All right, so we're going to get some tarot. We're going to take a look at what's going on for you guys. Let's start with this one. Spirit, can you show me? For Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, what is happening for the month of April, please? What is happening for the month of April for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Spirit, what is the situation? Can you show me? Two of Wands, decisions, decisions. Spirit, what's coming towards them? Three of Swords. Okay, there's something there that, you know, uh, it's making uh, lemonade out of lemons. Okay, what's falling away? Judgment, okay? Something that either wasn't for your highest good or something that you decided to leave behind, okay? With this two of wands, it was like a choice. And I've been saying this uh, to a friend of mine, actually a Libra, um, that the past is knocking and the future is knocking. So it's like you have to decide, okay, Spirit, can you show me what is uh, what is it that they can't see? What is it that Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius can't see? Ten of Pentacles coming out crossed. Okay, so there's there's something here about uh, the uh, the money. Okay, a generational wealth and legacy, or how to go about something. Okay, or if something will happen. Spirit, can you show me the truth of the matter? The Four of Pentacles. Okay, there may be a need to save right now for something larger. Okay, or holding back or timing, timing with the Feast of Plenty and the Eye of the Needle. It's something about the timing for the Ten of Pentacles. Spirit, can you show me the most likely outcome with the Seven of Pentacles? You're waiting. Okay, you got to wait. Okay, with the Moon. Okay, silence. Okay, with the Sun in reverse, everything shouldn't be seen. Okay, there could be also people with motives that you need to watch out for with the Eight of Swords, okay, because somebody's um, mental energy or their thought pattern isn't of a higher elevation, okay? So it's like uh, even if they don't mean to, like they could fuck you up, right? With the Eye of the Needle and the Feast of Plenty, you're like on the cusp of something. And so it feels like there's somebody that, that's with you. And it doesn't feel like necessarily their intentions are bad, but it feels like you have to ignore their their advice. Okay, because I feel like this person doesn't make those precise decisions like that. And it feels like something you have to go with your gut. Okay, you have to know when it's dust devil, when it's time to move. Okay, 
Queen of Wands, all eyes on you, okay? A lot of attention, okay? With the Five of Swords, it feels like you use it in some way to assist you to move forward with the Empress, okay? And it magnifies something very strong, okay? And the King of Swords is here. This is you and the King of Wands, okay? You have to use your... your your uh, fact and logic as to when it is time to move forward with the six of wands to take action okay because there's going to be some type of deception or something is not going to appear as it is or this advice that's coming from this person isn't as accurate as it should be and i feel like you have to go with your gut okay because two of pentacles look i could do a whole reading from the bottom of that two of pentacles because this it's a balancing act okay it's about timing it's about threading the needle okay so uh let's get a deck to clarify these Okay, you have the two of wands here for the situation. Spirit, why is the two of wands here for the situation? For Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius for the month of April. Can you show me why the two of wands is here for their situation for the month of April? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, please. Is it in the upright? Yes, it is. Okay, because the, the um hangman. Spirit, with the two, one, two of wands, please. With, you know, hangman at the bottom of the deck, stuff like Chuck, but you're trying to get a new perspective. Like, what do I do? How do I go about this? Okay. With the star, you're being led. But it's like, you can't go by this person. You have to go by your higher self, by your, your guides. Okay. Something about your intuition. With the eight of pentacles about work. <coughs> or when to work on something or how to work on something or with whom. And the Nine of Swords, you have been thinking a, a lot about it. It's weighing on you. And with the Ten of Wands, you know, there could be burdens or bills or something piling up while you're timing this, you know, I'm getting like double dutch, like, you know, when you have to learn, you know, jump in at the right time or else you get tripped up, right? With the Three of Swords, Spirit Y. And the Ace of Swords. And the Ten of Cups, right? So this feels like with the Three of Swords and the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Cups, it doesn't feel like a lie necessarily. It feels like whatever you're waiting to time could go either heart-wrenchingly bad. <laughs> like it feels like it's for all the chips. You know what I'm saying? Like in Vegas, like it's for all the chips, right? So it's like three of swords, we lose it all. Ten of cups, we get everything, right? This also could be like um, having to to make a, a decision about something that maybe, you know, you it's like, let's say you had a choice between money and love, right? Where something could be profitable right now, but it would oppose you in the love department. But you, your instinct may be telling you, but yes, it looks bright and shiny over there. But I feel like, you know, um, the money will come back or the money won't last long or something isn't as it like you don't believe something on its face value that somebody's trying to show you. Okay, you feel like it may not be a whole 100% what it appears. And it feels like this is coming from your spirit guides, okay? Spirit, why is judgment here as to what's falling away? I feel like you don't trust in somebody's judgment because it's not like they do it on purpose, but maybe they live in the sky with the chariot in reverse. You see what I'm saying? It's like you're not moving forward with something where you're not moving or you're not going back because judgment you know can be a return right with the fool you're going towards something new a new adventure and maybe that's what it was maybe there was a choice remember i was saying your past life and your new life right there could have been something scary about something that felt like it wasn't moving forward or you started something new and it didn't feel like it was taking off, right? And there was a thought of turning around, turn around every now and then I get a little bit, right? And then all of a sudden you're like, fuck it, two tears in a bucket. I'm going to stay even though um, it isn't working just yet or how I envision it. I'm going to put all my eggs in this fucking basket. I'm going to you know, I'm not going back to something from the past. I'm going, I'm going full steam ahead, two of cups, 
right? Spirit, with the Ten of Pentacles here crossed in what you can't see, Spirit. So the Ten of Pentacles here crossed. This is like the gamble, right? This is like, is it enough? Will it be enough? Can it be enough? Should I wait? What should I do? Right? Nine of Cups in reverse. You're, it, it's like this, this gambling something or being unsure about the outcome of something is not your wish fulfillment. But justice, you feel like in the end it'll pan out for you. So you're using your strength, okay? And the Eight of Swords, but it has you in your fucking head. And what has you in your head is the inability to see an outcome. Now, there also could be a feminine. This could be you or someone around you that is worried about the outcome for someone else could be younger than them. Okay? If you have a young child that is up for something in court and it's like you, you're putting up something, you're putting up... Uh, you know, maybe the bail or something like that. And you're worried about losing something, okay? Or them going back. I feel like they're not going to go back, but it's a scary time, right? Temperance, right? Something gets healed, worked out here. Patience, right? Now you have the four of pentacles. I also feel like there's another way. Like, let's say you didn't have the all the money, and that was what you were worried about. I feel like something comes through. Okay, four of pentacles, spirit. Why? Four of pentacles with the ace of cups. And the knight of cups. Okay, so it feels like uh, you're holding on to something that you love that's important to you. Okay, so it's like you're taking a, 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 a maybe a, a, a small financial hit or a hit in some way for the long-term gamble for something that you love okay but with the ace of pentacles i feel like anything that you lose now you gain back the empress okay but under that it's it's like the whole time you're worried about this impending ten of swords Okay, but you are moving like uh, the Knight of Swords, very deftly, okay? And it, it's emotionally shaking you up. You're feeling a little edgy, okay? Uh, but the Three of Pentacles is here. You're not in it alone, okay? And the King of Cups, there is this person that, you know, doesn't have the best advice, but they do have your back. They do have your back, right? So just don't let them lead, <laughs> Okay, like they, they'll help you and they're emotionally supportive to you, but they shouldn't be the leader. <laughs> okay, so now the seven of pentacles, like maybe because they don't have the courage or they don't see the vision that you see or, or, or something. Okay, now you have the seven of pentacles. Okay, this is about the timing. So let's say this person is saying, you know what, we should take $30,000 and invest in Bitcoin. Right? And you're like, uh, do you see everything that's going on with the bank right now? Last thing I want to do is put some fucking money somewhere, especially in something that I don't know how it works. Whatever, right? With the four of pentacles, like, uh, I'm going to wait and save this grip, okay? Because I'm, I'm waiting on the eye of the needle. And then it'll be the feast of plenty. So even though I might feel like I'm going without something right now, I feel like if I just stay quiet, I will get what I want with the high priestess. Your intuition is leading you to a swords and you're not sure how it's going to come out. Okay. But the knight of swords, you're pushing forward. Okay. And then you have here the, um, the five of wands. You're pushing forward through whatever internal conflict or through the conflict that this person is going to give you for you not listening. Right. But the queen of cups, it's like. There could be a maternal figure or your maternal figure or um, somebody that you saw go through something like this. Whether it worked out for them or it didn't, it's not the point. The point is like you have some frame of reference. Okay, the seven of swords of how they got led off their path. 
okay and how you're the emperor or or they let this person think they were the emperor and that's what fucked them up right so it feels like you're you're playing it smarter okay with the eight of pentacles here you're working in silence okay for even though it's a little burdensome with the ten of wands you're working on something quietly okay nine of swords you know feels a little bit of like a gamble but i feel like the ace of wands you're passionate about it the king of wands you're taking action on it okay and the hierophant you have a lot of hope and faith in it okay and the death card you're going to transform something through that okay so let's let's uh let's get a kipper spirit can you show me what's going on with my air signs for the month of April, courtship. Okay, this could be about a relationship, but I feel more so like it affects a relationship. Okay, I feel like this is secondary to, to something that you have envisioned, okay, or that you're planning. You have unexpected income, like I said, toiling and labor. Anything else, Spirit? Thank you. At the bottom of the deck, sudden wealth. See, it's like you bet on something. It's a sure thing. It's a sure thing. Somebody wanted you to do it a different way. Okay? I feel like something inside of you was telling you, I have to time something. I have to, to jump in when the getting is good i just heard okay spirit why is courtship here for gemini libra and aquarius please why is courtship here can you show me separation right so whether you're actually separating from this person or not, it, this could be, uh, you know, you have to separate or detach from like their way of thinking or you have to detach from them like emotionally or something to give yourself room to know which way. Secret admirer, right? Let me get one more because I don't feel like this is a third party. Financial loss, right? So it feels like there's something here about taking advice or somebody that maybe you thought was very wise in a particular area. Like this person gives me, like they always have a bright idea. Okay, but I feel like you have to separate yourself from this person's frame of thinking in this particular situation. Maybe in other situations, they're great, right? Unexpected income. important conversation and unexpected message let me tell you something it's like you have a message from spirit that maybe you don't necessarily know it's this message from spirit but you feel strongly like i should do x y and z this person tells you you know what we should invest this money that we've been sitting on on x y and z over here and you're like it feels to me like if you listen to this person what's going to happen is it's going to be a karmic lesson Okay, because it feels like there's an important conversation that needs to be had. Maybe often you go in the direction that this person says, okay? But with this unexpected message, I feel like the message that you got from spirit is going to be validated. And then you're going to kick yourself in the ass as a karmic lesson. Like, I should have listened to my intuition. Okay, apology, right? You'd be apologizing to yourself. I feel like this other person will be apologizing to you like, oh my God, because it's like you told this person about the idea. Okay, so it's like what will happen is once it comes true, right? Not only did you invest or do whatever this person said that doesn't allow you to do the other thing. But then on top of that, like both of you are looking at each other like, fuck. Okay, so toil and labor is here. Spirit, why? With winter. Right? So we're already in the spring, right? April, right? 
So think about it, right? So maybe you have to bide your time to winter time. Maybe you have to roll up your sleeves and work towards something, okay? Um, but I feel like if you if you jump in too soon, remember I was saying it's something about biding your time and threading the needle. Like you could miss something or it could not go well, right? So let's put this in ter terms of what's been happening recently. Um, and I'm recording this in the middle of March, okay? So, cause I record them in advance, right? So there's a lot of stuff happening with the banks, right? So let's say that this person is telling you, you should take all your money out and we should invest in this because they're going to, you know, the banks are going to fail and we're going to lose the money anyway, right? And your thing could be like, no, I'm going to wait until the market really goes low or home prices really fall or something that happens with this financial situation and you're like and then when the prices are really low i'm gonna jump in and swoop everything up right and this person's like no 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 we got to do it now we got to do it now and then you do it now and you lose your shirt Whereas you could have came in on after everybody lost their shirt and bought it for pennies on the dollar. So it's like about playing it smart, about having the long vision, which is the king of swords and the queen of swords. That's you guys. Okay. Slow and steady. Timing it. Right. So sudden wealth spirit. I feel like there is an opportunity for that. Okay. Counsel and therapy is coming out cross. Life changing decision. One more. Vivid dreams. I'm telling you, take a risk, right? So here it is. Counsel and therapy. This person is definitely trying to convince you. You see how it's not in the up, upright? But you're about to make a life-changing decision. I feel like you could have, and this happened to me yesterday, actually, with the vivid dreams, right? I'm going to give an example using myself. I am a Libra moon. Um, I, I had woke up and often I'll write like little notes in my phone if I have a dream at night. Well, I didn't remember that I wrote that note. Okay. So, um, I read it. It's not about what the, what was in the note later on that day, which was yesterday. My partner was watching March Madness and FDU won right? Which is like a 16th seed, whatever, right? That's not the point. The, what's the point is that when the coach gave his speech, I already knew everything he was going to say. I mean, per batum, because it was deja vu to me. Even the scene of the kid, one of the players, I don't know his name right now, you know, like uh, clowning around, like right after the one he got off the court. I saw all of that already. So I was so confused that I thought that it was a replay of the game. Okay. So it feels to me like you, your vision of something with this vivid dreams is going to give you a deja vu. And it's like proof that you're seeing, you're knowing things before Spirit's like, see, I showed you this. Don't you remember I showed you this? I showed you this person was going to come in and, and, and give you some advice, but you have to wait because you're going to miss the opportunity that I lined up. Okay, so let's get you guys a love and romance. And it's funny because under that sudden wealth was pathway. So it's like this way, right? What's under that journey, right? And wealthy man. Okay. And then mature man. So I feel like if you make the right decision, this sets you up for years to come. Spirit, can you show me? And we have um, Pluto in Aquarius. Okay. It's only there for a couple of months right now, but it's going to come back in and stay for 20 years. Okay. So it feels like whatever decision you're making now has reverberations for next winter 
and that what happens is that that's that's a 20 year cycle that sets you up spirit can you show me okay so you have retreat here okay i feel like that is kind of what you're doing you're you're detaching from other people's opinions and 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 things okay I know you deserve more and I'm working on myself, okay? So I feel like uh, this is kind of like you speaking to yourself, okay? Okay, it's like, I know you deserve more. That's like from your, your spirit team, like they're telling you, like, go, just go in, 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 in hermit mode, okay? And, and you're like, I'm working on myself. I'm working on something, but your wheels are turning. Soulmate, You have my whole heart, okay? So I told you, this person around you, they, they do have love for you, and I energetically communicate with you, okay? I feel like it's it, it's not so much that the person isn't aligned with you. It's just that they have a different way, okay? Financial um, and, and their, their thought process. I mean, if you're the air sign, you know, that's your department, right? Financial, finances and career is I remember you and I'm healing, okay? I feel like I remember you as the deja vu. It's like a message you're getting from spirit about how to do something financially, okay? And I am healing. I feel like this This is this other person. It feels like something that you're about to do is, is gonna also help them to understand how to make moves, right so they might have the risk factor down like they know they're not afraid to take chances and maybe you are right but your 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 thought process is second to none and maybe they could use some tips from you okay real um i was about to say real estate guys release your ex the last time we were together right and i feel like um this could be something about the past, okay? Something about you deferring, something about you learning when it's not to defer. You're he you're healed enough now unblock me, right? I need you and your pure love and money issues, okay? So I feel like you you close out the advice from somebody here. Okay? I feel like uh, the last time we were together, maybe there's actually like a disagreement about this, okay? But you have had, you've healed enough now, unblock me. This person could actually block you because you didn't listen to their advice or or you blocked them because they, they were upset about you not listening to their advice. But I feel like when something goes positive, both of you call each other, okay? I need you in your pure love, right? It's like a spat right? And it's like a, a happy, right? With the money issues here, right? It's like this solves everything. I communicate with you through music, all right? But it's this self-love is like you having to, to um, be stern enough to be 10 toes down with your own intuition. And this person is going to be like, what the hell? Like, why won't you understand what I'm saying, okay? But I feel like in the end, they're going to be like, I never want to lose you again, okay? You might actually feel like they're good luck charm with it. You are one of a kind, okay? So that's what I have for my air signs. I'd just like to say thank you to my returning subscribers for coming through and spending a little time with me. And if you're a new viewer and you felt that I resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and comment as I'd love to have you as part of the lovely soul family. I'm wishing you all light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste, gang, gang. Bye.